this coconut bread tastes awesome and simply the best with this quick guide you're going to learn how to make this yummy and amazing coconut bread hello guys and welcome back to my channel if you're a new user please kindly click on the subscribe button and click on the notification bell icon thank you this recipe i'll be using 250 gram bread flour well sieved to that i'm going to add 20 grams of sugar and to it, I'm going to add 2 teaspoons active dry yeast and 1 over 4 teaspoons of salt. So having done this, I'm just going to simply break in one egg and I'm going to add 120 ml lukewarm milk, warm milk please, to activate the yeast. Alright, so at this stage, I'm just simply going to mix this with my wooden spatula. I'm just going to mix it lightly so that um it's going to be well combined before i transfer it to my work surface so i simply added 20 grams of butter at the initial stage you're going to notice that it's going to become softer and more sticky when you want to mix it but not a problem at all just simply transfer it to your workbench and begin to knead gradually and mind you be careful of the way you add flour to your bread because the more flour you add while kneading, the stronger the bread becomes. So you're just going to knead it like that. It might be looking sticky, but trust me, once you continue kneading it like that, it's going to get to a time where you're not going to experience the stickiness anymore. And if you find it difficult to knead with your hands, you can use your stand mixer as well. Now, once your dough is as stretchy as this, you can see how smooth the dough is and stretchy you know that it, your bread is ready for proofing so while we are going to cover this now and keep it let's quickly prepare our coconut filling that we are going to use for our bread in a clean bowl you are simply going to add 20 grams of butter to that you are going to add 25 grams of icing sugar or confectioner sugar you mix this together very well make sure that it's thoroughly mixed and is well combined please we are using a uh, butter not margarine so once that is well combined you're simply going to add 50 grams of your coconut grated flakes you know in the unsweetened coconut flakes then you mix it together thoroughly and once that is ready you can begin to roll out your bread dough you can go ahead and break in one egg to make this paste spreadable well that is simply optional it's not compulsory otherwise you can just go ahead and have it this way just like i, I did in this video so i'm just going to continue mixing until everything is thoroughly combined and i have a very smooth paste once i have done that now i am ready to roll out my bread dough you are simply going to roll out a flat thin bread dough and then you are going to spread out your coconut paste your coconut filling to the base this is one of the techniques you can use to give your bread a simple and yet unique look it doesn't mean it has to only be this technique you can use any technique of your choice to make your bread look amazing so my dough is well flattened and I'm ready so at this stage I'm just going to spread the coconut filling at the half part base of the bread you know just spread everything make sure it doesn't go through the whole part just the you know just divide the dough into two take one half of it and spread your paste there so once you have done that you are simply going to give this a design look of your choice that one is simply optional but yeah look at the little trick i'm going to do here so that i can get a good and unique look for my bread a very quick and important tip bread doughs are very very fragile and it needs to be handled with extreme care 
and if you overstress your dough you are going to break down the gluten formation at a point you are going to notice that the dough is no longer looking smooth and it's looking stronger at that stage you will know that what you are going to be producing is a sour bread and that is why you do not take long in the process of making your bread you have to make everything as fast as possible without taking too long in any of the procedures so i'm simply ready now to roll out my dough now if you notice it's sticking a little you can just scrape out the base just like as i'm doing or you can simply sprinkle out a little quantity very minute and insignificant quantity of flour on your workbench so that you don't have it sticky but i'm always very careful when i'm adding bread i mean making bread in using flour because once it's too your flour is too much you are just going to get rid of the entire look of the bread and it's not going to come out looking nice so at this stage your bread loaf pan should be well prepared and once that is ready it should be moved your bread should be moved to the pan haven't done that please you can just break in one egg for egg washing but before then let's cover this for about 30 minutes and allow it to double in size once it has doubled in size we're simply going to egg wash this and put it in an already preheated oven and bake for 180 degrees celsius until it is golden brown color this bread came out very very soft very 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 yummy and the inside moist in fact it was amazing i couldn't wait to divulge this guys i can't wait for you to try out this recipe if you love this video please kindly subscribe to my channel like this post and leave a comment in the comment box thank you so much for watching until next time i'm mama rukayat and do have a lovely day